Welcome back to my battle map tutorial series today. This is a re-recording of a previous video that was a little low in volume, but today we're going to work on creating rock collections or basically color matching. If you're like me and you have a lot of rocks um, and such, you know, they're all different colors, but when you put them onto a map, uh, usually, you know, the rocks in an area are similar in color, or at least close, you know, similar types of rocks. But as you can see, you know, I've got red rocks and, you know, a lot of times I'm just looking for the shape of the rock. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a new collection. I'm going to take this because I've already got, you know, my desert rocks. I actually have like several different uh, sets of rocks created. I got dark rocks and I got red rocks. So there's my dark rocks and there's my reddish rocks. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a rocks. It's, it's uh, I don't know what to call them, basalt rocks or whatever. So we're going to create a new image and we'll create this 15 by 15. And I'm just going to drag this over there. And one, we're going to get rid of the background color. We always hate that. And I'm just going to label this base rock so it's easy to find within my layer set. Then I'm going to go out and grab a couple of rocks. There's a yellow one. Um, there's a red one. And let's see. Uh, get another rock. So there we go. So again, three different, you know, looking rocks. And I'm just going to drag those over onto my new file. Oops, we're going to resize this guy a little bit. I'll probably never want to rock that big. And here's another one. We'll just resize them a little bit. Okay, so basically I want a set of rocks that look similar to here. So what you do is you select a layer you want to change, and then you just go to Adjustments, Match Color, and select your current image, which in this case is untiled, and then I go down to Base. And you see it, it shapes it. Now sometimes you may want to adjust the color or the, the brightness or if it's got you know some deep colors in there you may want to pick those up or desaturate basically a little bit. Or you can fade it which brings it back to its original color if it's a hundred percent. Basically you want it to zero if you're trying to change the color. So again we'll just do this one real quick and I'll match color. Go down to untitled, go down to base and again so now I got that guy. Again, we'll just do this guy. So all you do is, so what I, I do, I should say, is I just load rocks in there. And as you can see, you know, I've got a whole set. So when I'm doing a specific type of ground, I can just go in here, grab these layers and pull them in. You also notice I add drop layer or drop shadows. You know, most of these already have them, but some don't. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll add the actual uh, drop shadow to the effect. So when I drag it over, I don't have to keep adding, you know, drop shadows to rocks. Because if you're adding lots of different rocks, that can take a lot of time. The other thing you can do is we'll do this with a cactus. So here, you don't have to do it just with rocks. Here's a cactus I like. Uh, I like it a lot. And let's here zoom in on him a little bit. Um, but I'm not particularly fond of his color. You know, I like the more darkish green of a cactus color. So, again, what I can do is, here's a, oops, cancel. I'm just going to relabel this desired color. You know, just so easy to find. Go down to my cactus layer, okay, and then just go image, adjustments, match color. Select my current image. Now, I could just go straight to that image. I, I don't have to create a new image. You can do this. You know, and so now I have, you know, very similar matching colors, you know, and I like that. And you can do that with uh, rocks and trees and all types of things. Um, so again, this is just a quick video to show you how to do matching colors to get matching rock sets, you know, so you can easily drag them in um, or, you know, plants, um, similar color plants, because a lot of times plants aren't the same color or trees, fallen trees, you know, things like that. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.